Welcome back guys to my YouTube channel. Today we have episode 4 of the Road to Glory. Here in the background I'm showing you guys how I sold the rest of the items that I packed from the SPCs. And today we're going to be working on some trading tips as well as opening packs that I was able to craft. Let's see if our luck can change today. As a fair disclaimer, trading right now is very hard. So even if you can make yourself 100 to 150 coins a card, I think it's worth it due to the lack of cards on the market no one can add fifa points so i found a few ways of picking up some cards that you can flip and make some coins an easy sniping filter where you can make about like 95 coins a card if it adds up because a lot of cards do actually pop up is to set the max buy now to 300 set quality to silver and as you can see a few pop up so set that to 200 and then you would just go back and forth and then try to snipe as you can see i'm not very quick but they do pop up okay guys for the silver method if you can't snipe them at 200 what you can do is just leave it silver 200 and just go ahead and just start mass bidding on all the 150 ones and the 200 because you can literally sell all these cards for 300 coins instantaneously so i feel like you just go through mass bid 200 set that to 150 so there's less people and then just bid 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 if you get all bid it's okay just remove them from your trade transfer list and you keep going just keep going I did manage to pick up a few cards from the bidding I picked up an Otamendi and a Lima. The Lima is going for 350 coins. I'll lift them up to small profits. And then Otamendi, I believe he's going for around 750 to 800 coins. I'll have a quick look here. Otamendi, get rid of the silver, clear. 750. It's quite a few of them, but you could definitely list them. And sell them for 750 here 750 700 and we list it's really as easy as that guys with mass baiting you just want to be really patient and keep doing it over and over and over because you will pick up some of these players if you want to find a player that's great to snipe or a player that's great to bid on i would head on to footbin and go players fifa 23 players and then i would set the version of the player so whatever you like i just like doing uh non-rares so you'd go gold non-rares and then you want to sort by price and then from here you can see golds that are high in price and people might not know so a lot of these golds a lot of someone might just pack and then uh, just list them up without looking like oh it's a non-rare gold can't be more than 500 coins they list it and you pick it up another thing you can do from with this is trying to find a bunch of players that find the same criteria so when you would like be sniping you'd have a higher likelihood of finding someone like for example french right mids from league one or any nation there's three of them right here so i would check how much the french right mids are going for then i would sit there let's say they go for an average 900 to a thousand set my filter to 700 by now and try to snipe them there you probably pick up a few let's see here if there's any other ones that we can see uh right here we've got two la liga brazilian left mids i would set that as my parameters and then i would try to snipe them to see the 950 both i would check first how much they go for and then i would set my sniping filter to 700 maybe 750 and go ahead try to get those you would go and bid up to 800 coins, I would say, sell them for a thousand, and we can get about 200 coins a card, maybe a little bit less after tax. But this, there's a lot more competition. But if you have it, you go bid 750, 800, you do win it, you make a couple hundred coins, you don't, you move on, right? So, just to show you guys a few examples here that I have, all of these cards, if they're over my budget, like I'm gonna sell Kawatch for 950. Why would I want to bid 900 on him to make less than 50 coins after tax? So I get rid of him. This silver, I might compare prices to see what he's going for. 400 coins, not worth the risk of him not selling. This silver as well. And then you be the judge, right? He goes for 350. This guy's bidding 300 on him. He can have it. 
Otamendi, I know that's above my price. This guy as well. And you just clear them. And then hopefully by the end of the hour, when you come back, you clear it, you win a few. So far, doing these tips, I've been able to pick up a few Kolach. Show you guys for 800. I list them for 950, and they do sell. It is very slow, small profits. We're early on in the game. This is what adds up, right? You can't expect to make thousands of coins trading unless you're an unbelievable trader and you have a lot of coins to do so. Well, for low budget options, this is definitely the way to go. Mass bid on silvers. All right, guys, now we have our uh, daily preview pack. Yesterday, we got lucky. We actually were able to buy it. Today, mm, I don't think so. Foiler, anything in the pack that can make it worth it. One position modifier. I think I'll skip on this one. But I did also prepare two uh, packs from Hybrid Nations. I tried to finish the around the world. The last time I checked, this happens. How can you have exactly two chemistry points per each player and then have 11 players in the team? Because 11 times 2 is 22 and they expect you to get 24. So they obviously got to change this. I don't know why they still haven't. It's been out for a couple days now. It's still bugged. But here we have the final four. I was able to complete it for about 600 coins. I had most of the players in my club. I think I just had to buy Lingard and like a, a bronze somewhere. Let's submit. And I also was able to complete six of the best. This one cost me about six, 1,600 coins as I had to buy a few players off the market. So let's submit that as well. And I would have loved to complete the around the world for that 100k pack, but I guess that will have to be for another day. So, first pack, mixed players pack. Come on, show us the good stuff. Hadraki, that's not bad out of a mixed players pack, considering the odds. We also do get Ozil and Romagnoli. We can use these guys in future SPCs for sure. This pack, I'm a little bit more excited. Small prime mixed player pack. Come on, be good to me. We need something for the team here. Gerard Pique. Anything else in the pack? Unfortunately not. Alright guys. If you enjoyed the video. Leave it a like. And I'll catch you guys next time. Like and sub.